Hey there. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. My equipment and supplies are down in the description box. Uh, I have an ongoing list, so I keep adding to it. So everything's down there. Most of it has links, so check that out. Also, if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell will notify you when uh, new ones come out. All right, let's get going. I am using wrong black. Let me find my black. It was like right beside me. Anyway, pitch black from Ranger. I'm just going to put down a little bit. And I, I like to use it at the base for one or two reasons. I like that the color it adds to it. But I also like the fact that it doesn't just spread out real fast. And I have the opportunity to add some colors on top of it or beside it. And they won't just go nuts. So I'm going to do here-ish. I'm going to kind of put it in a straight line. Now I just said that and it takes off. Um, kind of put it in a straight line because I want the top of this flower a little flattish. Okay. So there's that. And I think I'm going to use... <clears throat> I'm going to use cranberry. I know I don't have this thought out. Cranberry, and I kind of want a purple. Let's do am uh, eggplant. All right, get my blow dryer ready. And I think the cranberry is a little thicker, and that's kind of what I want to. I just don't want it to be real thin and just take off. I want to keep my dark area kind of closed in a little bit. That's not all the way dry, but I'll, I'll let me put these down, and I'll just... Do that off camera, make sure things dry. And here's purple. So I've got my little master's guy. And these I'm just going to kind of let get a little nutty. I don't want a real controlled flower, and that was a lot of alcohol. That was more alcohol than I wanted. All right. Okay. It's good that you see me mess up. Now, just one drop. And I'm just kind of going to do them squiggly. Don't worry about these bottom ones having a lot of dark in them because when you put the alcohol toward the later, or uh, the petals that we do later, you're going to pick up some because the red and purple's on top and the black's on the bottom. So I don't mind the black being down here kind of filling that in. Because as I move up and I kind of do the row and then I scoot up a little bit and scoot up a little bit for my petals. I'm about an inch off the paper and maybe an inch behind the dry line of the petals. Let's 
see here's the draw line. Ooh, I'll cover that up. I don't like it. Yet.
All right, if you've noticed, I've kind of gone MIA on this. Um, I have gotten into my head and I am working and playing and thinking. So I say nothing else to the end. And then I realize <laughs> I not said a word. <laughs> so I didn't help you out at all here. So what I've done so far is I've put black up against the petals to kind of show hopefully that's a little bit of a shadow. And then I've got the yellow on top. And while I like the idea of this, um, I'm not... I'm not okay with it just being yellow so I kind of start going in and um, at first I put some really a deep uh, burgundy color uh, I guess burgundy is the best way to describe it um, and I start making those little oh I know they had a name and I can't think but it's that little thing that sticks up in the middle of the flower so I start making them and I ended up making them bigger and making them more of them and uh, so I just start working the center and I see what I think it needs and if it needs more uh, darker lines in it or you know some more dots or something so I just spend a lot of time playing with this and getting the shape the way I want it and it's just kind of what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to figure out what you're liking and what your shape is and and um, add different ideas on how to get there so um, you can just see how I've done and what I've ended up uh, working there's the Posca pen I've done some of that on it to brighten some areas um, I do put a dot of white in each of those little red dots it just gives something um, a little dimension a little highlight looking and gives you just more to look at more interesting so this is what I've done for the next five minutes um, I piddle I come up with different things I do and um, I hope this gives you some ideas and you can change them up or you know use all of them use none of them so just hang in there or watch it for a few minutes and see what I do to the inside uh, or at the top of this flower and then I also a little bit later I do take off some of the little squiggly uh, petals that have gone down farther than the rest of the flowers. That's easy to take off with a little uh, Q-tip and some alcohol, just rub that off, and then I put my stem on. So that's at the very end, but um, here I'm putting some black dots on the petals themselves to give them kind of uh, a different look or, or add, just add some interest to it. So just hang out and watch a couple minutes and then we'll hit hit the final product
And there we go. I kind of forgot I was filming. Sorry, I didn't talk. <laughs> so, play. Absolutely play, play, play. This was a lot of fun. I, I You saw me change my mind a lot of times. Um, so, I hope this gave you some good ideas. And you go out there and play.